Tonight we're meeting another of the eight candidates running for Myrtle Beach City Council. Now with less than three weeks until you voters head to the ballot box. Our Julia Richardson introduces us to John Crutch and tells us how he's aiming to keep his seat at the decision making table. A local realtor, John Crutch began serving on the Myrtle Beach City Council in 2020. He says he is running for re-election because he thinks Myrtle Beach has a lot of potential. In short, I love this city. Uh, Myrtle Beach is, in my opinion, the best city on the East Coast and can continue to get better. Crutch tells me managing homelessness has always been one of his top priorities and he is proud of what council has accomplished in the past few years. We've partnered with Horry County United Way to implement a 211 system. 211 is a system where you can make a phone call to 211 and get connected not just for homelessness but for other resources as well if you're having a hard time. He also brought up Myrtle Beach's opioid coordinator program, but he said if re-elected, he wants to work on getting more funding from the state and federal government for mental health programs. When I asked him about affordable housing, he said City Council is continuing to work with Habitat for Humanity on workforce housing projects. This is something where government partners with private developers and we partner with nonprofits to figure out how to have partnerships. This isn't something where government does all the work by ourselves. Private public partnerships to figure out the workforce housing issue is essential, making sure that private developers have an opportunity to be here and understand the needs of our citizens. Crutch said if reelected, continuing revitalization efforts council is working on is essential for him. If we make downtown better, all the positive effects economically from doing that downtown will domino throughout our city. The South End needs attention. I plan to do that in the next four years as well and continue that push to make the entire city better because that's who I serve. When I asked Crutch about public safety, he said it is one of his number one priorities. And last year, he voted to increase starting pay for the city's police officers. We have a very elite group of law enforcement officers. So if we continue that push, not only with them, but to increase the, and better the perception of public safety in the city of Myrtle Beach, that is my number one goal just ahead of growth management. Crutch also said he wants voters to know that he gives his all to council. Myrtle Beach City Council in 2023 is not a three meeting a month process. If you are a dedicated city council member, it is imperative that you go to as many things to learn, neighborhood watch meetings, and all this requires energy. I, I think I like to think of myself as someone with a ton of energy to give and a, and a lot of time to dedicate. In Myrtle Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News. Myrtle Beach voters will head to the polls Tuesday, November 7th, and we will keep introducing you to more candidates. We're going to pick up our campaign coverage next week, introducing you to the next candidate, Bill McClure. That's going to be starting up again Monday.